What is up, everybody? It's Joe from JLW Games coming at you with another cool video. We're back in the challenge park. I know, back to back videos. Like, what is this madness? You guys were probably expecting another Speculation Planet Coaster 2 video, but you know what? I, these last couple weeks, uh, I'm going to try and commit to just getting, doing everything I can to just be doing Planet Coaster 1 content because uh, I want to pay tribute of this game that's been part of my life for eight years and um since it's going to be you know i i don't want to say forgotten but it's going to be a little bit left behind once planet coaster 2 comes out i want to try and get my last little bit done uh last little bit in these last few weeks um appreciating what this game has uh been to me for the last eight years so and obviously, I don't want to leave uh, projects like this hanging. Like, I mean, obviously, I've left a lot of projects hanging. You guys know that. <laughs> That's one of my biggest criticisms of myself and probably of just in general. Now, in Planet Coaster 2, I'm going to try and be better about that and not try and abandon as many projects and everything. And um, yeah, but anyways, <laughs> enough into that. Um, we're actually pretty close to the finish line of the Steampunk roller coaster here with Steam Traveler. Um, we did a lot of touches last time, uh, really just trying to get a lot of finishing touches, uh, going in and everything. Um, I do want to focus a lot on, like, lighting and getting the lighting done in, like, uh, a lot of places like the station. We might work a little bit on lighting today. Um, and then, of course, the <clears throat> Q line needs uh, a little bit more tender love and care. This room could probably use a little bit more theming. We have the, the little centerpiece in here, uh, but that's about it. Um, and just kind of finishing off some uh, some of these rooms here, as you can see. Um, we did a little bit in this room, um, this room, um, and everything like that. But overall, it's not too bad. We're getting pretty close um, to getting what I want in, out of this, um, this Q line. Um, it's nothing too crazy, but it is, you know, you, you, I'm trying to not leave too many spots unthemed. Uh, so I'm trying to make sure there's plenty of lighting in here for when it's dark. And then, of course, we have the outdoor queue, which is for the <coughs> um, priority pass, which goes all the way over here and up and around and goes up here at to meet with towards the front of the line. Um, so yeah, it's looking pretty good. Uh, everything um, is starting to come together. The gift shop here still needs to be kind of worked on as you exit, because this is also the exit of the ride. And then of course, we just got to close up some of that stuff. Um, within over here, I'm really liking how this area has been turning out just in general, like our steampunk section. Uh, Steam City is pretty cool, and I would hope to maybe do some uh, a steampunk <coughs> section, maybe within Planet Coaster 2 at some point. Um, we'll see what kind of pieces we have, and see if I know we have a lot of piping and stuff from like the aquatic theme. Um, so I'm not sure if that's going to be enough, but I feel like we could put something together um, with that as well, because this uh, piping and stuff really does kind of help drive this. <clears throat> kind of theming and you know the again the aquatic theming is going to have a lot of cool like piping um pieces and stuff that we could potentially use for that i think it would be really really cool so yeah so in today's time lapse and video we're going to try and really we might even finish today um we'll see at the end of the video where we're at so stay tuned for that uh, i still can't get over these curves of this turn like i love the curves of these turns anyways <laughs> but but yeah we still have a bit to do here to try and get this ride open to the public i still need to um make this look a lot better as well because there's still a little bit we have to get done uh to make it look to make it look a lot nicer and everything um did we actually did actually put an entertainer in here yet? I can't remember actually. I, I think I remember um, flirting with the idea. I don't think we did yet because um, I would have to <clears throat> let's actually take a look uh, of our staff. I don't even know if I have any entertainers. Yeah, I don't. Um, but I was thinking about doing the adventurer, the adventure uh, staff member, um, 
because they kind of, I feel like, would fit this area the best. Uh, but yeah, so Steam Traveler, one of my, in my opinion, one of my coolest rides that I think I've, I've done in my Planet Coaster um, building career, if you want to call it that. Um, so yeah, let's get on into it, guys. Thank you guys for being here and sticking with me through this series. Um, I do would like to maybe do a Challenge Park series in Planet Coaster 2. I know you guys would probably look forward to that um, as well. But uh, yeah, we're just literally two weeks away from Planet Coaster 2. Um, and I'm going to try and do quite a few episodes to try and make this park something a little bit special before we end the series totally. Like this is probably the last big attraction that I'll be doing in this park. The rest of it's going to be trying and probably just kind of, you know, touching up the last bits of the park because again, when Planet Coaster 2 comes out, there's no point of, you know, <laughs> uh, you know, really of, you know, trying to make this a big park. The initial plan was to, but now with, um, you know, Planet Coaster 2 kind of changes a lot of things. Um, and that's not to say like, again, I'm going to do something like that. But anyways, let's get into the time lapse, guys, and let's get down into it. Uh, let's let's go.
Alrighty guys, so we've done some work here in this awesome time lapse and uh, let's kind of go through what we have accomplished so far. So we did a lot of lighting and we also um, kind of closed up the gift shop a little bit. I did a little bit of interior but not like too crazy amount. Um, I, w I didn't want to do like a crazy ton amount of interior but I didn't want to keep it bland either. Um, for the most part, I'm not really great at interiors and I want to get better at them but like um, I didn't feel like it was like super necessary, completely necessary for this uh, gift shop a little bit, but it looks, it looks all right. Um, it could potentially probably have a little bit more if I really wanted it to, but we're going to leave it there for now. I did want to kind of close up this little edge here, or this little spot here. Um, we might still add a little bit more, but, um, just to kind of block out this backstage section of the ride and everything in this uh, area, because obviously we have a little backstage area for these shops right there and this connects kind of like this is kind of like a service road is what that's supposed to be um, that kind of leads up to the park and this is supposed to be a little gate that uh, they can have vehicles uh, come through and stuff for whenever they have to do maintenance around the area um, it's just a little access gate for uh, for the basically for the steampunk section uh, of the area now obviously we do have to decorate this up a little bit I did want to put some more piping and theming and stuff like that a little bit throughout here because you can tell it's obviously back in this section we had a lot of piping going across the uh, the pathways and stuff so I wanted to kind of continue a little bit on that I might actually push the building out a little bit here and actually build some uh, a little bit more uh, spots for the building right there and then of course we got to kind of close up the little observation area and kind of decorate it up a little bit more and I think that'll be about it. Obviously, we didn't. I haven't done too much in the queue just yet. I still need to. Um, it didn't touch up that just yet. Um, but we're we're in the closing segments here and the finishing touches of of this uh, section. I'm very excited um, to kind of get this uh, open up. We actually did connect the pathway already now. So now that the path pathway is actually connected and. Uh, uh, to where people could actually access this area now, but obviously it's not open. There's nothing open over here So guests probably will not traverse this area just yet uh, But it's looking pretty good so far uh, I'm pretty excited. Um, let's go ahead and push play here for a little bit. We haven't uh, Done too much uh, simulation yet of um, cash flow because um, we didn't spend uh, actually too much money on there, but uh, we're still looking pretty solid. Um, things are starting to come together, or almost coming together. Like, we're about finished with this project, at least uh, this area. You can see just how massive the scale of this attraction is when it comes to, like, the building, because there is a small indoor section before you launch out into the outdoor section and stuff. There's still a few more things I do want to do with this area. Um, we still have some, uh, a little bit here to do. Um... Um, uh, a little bit. I, I don't know what I was trying to do, but guests are actually are already coming this way for some reason. I don't know where they're heading to. Oh, they're heading to the Vista points. So that's what they're doing. All right. It's all right. Um, I didn't want guests to come through this way just yet, but, <clears throat> you know, it's just a little preview. They're getting a little preview of the construction site. That's what's going on here. Um, <laughs> uh, it's going to lead out into here, uh, but they want to get to the Vista view. I forgot about the Vista view points will actually attract guests and they'll actually go out and take some photos of the rides and stuff. We did do some like ride lighting. I don't want to put too many lights around the ride. I did want to put it right here. As you can see, if we go to nighttime, um, just for these little hills and turns, uh, because that's what the guests are going to be seeing from this observation area. Uh, and that's mainly what uh, the only things I really wanted to kind of highlight with the lights uh, and throughout the layout for the most part and then a little bit in the theming areas as well over here as you can see I might put some lights probably should put some lights around these launch this launch as well um, just to give it that little extra flare um, and I probably need to put like a catwalk or something on the launch right here actually uh, actually be probably smart because it would probably have some sort of catwalk uh, in this section so let's see what we got here 
Probably ha I'm gonna have to do a custom one because if I put it here, it's gonna kind of clip through the door, which isn't actually awful. Go into daytime so I can actually kind of see it a little bit. That's not too bad. It does put it on the opposite side on this side for some reason. On this section. Let's see. That's kind of weird. I won't even select this. I forgot that I have hidden track here. Because uh the launch. I gotta remember that. There we go. That's what we actually want. I want to get rid of that. Honestly, that kind of works. For the most part. And uh, what we'll probably do... This is all stuff coming to mind uh, as I speak at the moment. So we do have, like, we could put in some, like, spiral staircases... Uh, for like catwalks over here if we really want to I think I'm gonna do that for like this spot here or if they have to do an evacuation now technically they could probably access it from back there as well but I'm gonna go ahead and patch this up a little bit So there is access from there. Um, this one can be reached from the platform there, so that's how that platform gets reached. But I might uh, I might adjust that a little bit. So, but we'll get into that. Uh, I do want to potentially put some music throughout here and everything uh, in this section as well. Looking pretty good. But guests get their first little preview of the area here. Like going this way. Pretty neat. That's more and more guests flow into the park. Um, actually, we have quite a bit of gap here. We're probably going to start... Yep, we're, we've already started losing money. I think when there's a... When the... Uh, Marketing campaign resets. I think there's always a little bit of a gap of guests because we have the marketing campaign. You can see this gap of no one coming in and then just a ton of people coming in from right here. So it is kind of strange. I think that's what kind of happens here is when the marketing campaign resets is you actually have a little bit of a gap between the last one and the renewed one. Um, which does kind of suck because, like, it does take, I guess, a while to get up here. And we do lose money quite a bit because our guest spawners are way back here and they have to make it all the way over here before they actually start making money. Or before we start making money here because, because of that. So once these guests start to get up here, then you can see that we'll start making money once more. Um, so that kind of is how that's going to flow right through there. But yeah, I still, I think we're going to take another episode here uh, to really kind of um, get some more finishing touches in here. Um, and we'll probably or fix up this area. I'll probably put some more piping theming around the a lot of the areas. I'll probably do a little bit more detail on this wall so it's not as plain because that is going to be in guest view. Um, so we want to kind of decorate this wall. And just do some uh, slight touches here and there. It's going to look really, really good. We'll do a little bit more of that theming, uh, which I said I was going to do at the beginning, but I actually did not get to in this room. Um, it wouldn't won't take long to do that. But I think one more good episode of like final touch-ups and everything like that will get this ride open. And uh, we'll be on our merry way to... Um, <laughs> finally getting this expansion of the steampunk section open. Um, and it's looking fantastic so far. I'm a, I'm super excited to see where this all goes and leads. I'm so excited. I hope you guys are excited too, um, especially when I try. I'm going to try it. My goal here, 
I have a little bit of a time frame. We'll have one another episode of finishing this up. And then sometime maybe next week. Oh man, I'm going to be... I forgot I'm going on a vacation, kind of. Uh, I should be able to get it done before Planet Coaster 2, though. But uh, what I'm going to be doing is doing like a really nice cinematic video of this ride that has complete POVs, off-ride footage, all the above, um, kind of as my last big Planet Coaster 1 uh, cinematic video, you know, before Planet Coaster 2 kind of releases. So that's going to be the idea behind that. And then, of course, I'll put the put it on the workshop for those that are interested in uh, conti maybe continuing where I left off, you know, maybe that would be a thing. You guys want to continue what I've started here um, in this park. Um, and if you guys want to do, do that, you can. Um, I think that would be kind of fun. Now, again, this is a scenario, so you guys would be able to play the scenario from now on. If any of you guys are still going to be on Planet Coaster 1 once Planet Coaster 2 comes out, maybe you can guys can have fun with that, and I'd love to see maybe your guys' creations. Maybe that gives me an excuse to go back to Planet Coaster 1 and maybe do some, like, uh, uh, content to see what people have created out of this. Um, so that would be pretty cool. But anyways, I think that's going to about do it for this episode, guys. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe for more amazing content like this. Hit that join button if you want to see these episodes early. And uh, see you guys next time. Thanks and goodbye.